This is another video in the series on how to use Evernote. And this video will be looking at searching for your notes. The more notes that you create, the more difficult it will be to find them. If you only have a few, then you can simply look at the, look at the notebooks visually or your tags visually and you can find them. But the more you get and the more obscure tags you give them, the harder it is to find them. So this one we'll look at how to filter your notebooks and tags and then how to create searches and save them and, and even some advanced search operators. Uh, I haven't got an awful lot of notes in, in my Evernote. I have, uh, if we go into the notebooks section, I only have 91 notes. But it is becoming a little harder for me to find things. And as you can see here, I've got a couple of duplicate notes in that I didn't know I had. Uh, I like to keep the notebooks books and tags sort of closed up because it just makes it a little bit cleaner to find things. Uh, the notebooks are all listed here and if I wanted to expand them I could expand the stacks to look specifically at what how many notes were in there, expand that stack and I have notebooks within those stacks and how many notes are in there. Uh, and I could find them visually by, by actually going through them like that and the same with the tags and I can make that a little bit bigger and they're all the tags and if I wanted to find all the recipes I could just select recipes and I would find all the, the actual recipes and they would be arranged in the order that I had set up up here so I've got them sorted by title but also shown in groups so if I deselect that then they're just in title alphabetically but the more I have uh, it might be easier to actually have them alphabetized, so you've got all the B's together and the C's together, etc. Or I could change it to the date they were created. So you can you can organize them how you like. I prefer to have them that way. And that's a sort of a quick way of finding things visually. If you know where your note is, you know what uh, notebook it's in, or you know what tag you've given it, you can find it that way. The other way to filter is to actually use these headings up here so I could go into to notebooks and find my um, oh, juice and raw notebook and that will find that notebook and open that notebook and all the notes within that notebook will open and if you know the name of the notebook that might be quicker than actually trying to find it here now, the more notebooks you have the harder it's going to be to actually scroll up and down to find them so uh, filtering is useful depending on how many notebooks you have same with tags I can go, go into tags and look for all notes that have the tag of paperless so it will find those tags and it will open those notes so I can find them uh, and this sort of presupposes that you have a pretty good idea about what your tags are uh, if it's something obscure, then you might have to resort to searching up here. So let's have a look at that. How do you actually search? So let's go back to a all notes, and maybe I want to search for every note. I have a note that is cool things to do with an iPad. So I type in the, the two words cool things. And it's going to pick, well, cool things, not things. It'll find everything that has the words cool and things. Now, I really should put some quotes around it so that I can have that phrase, cool things. It's giving me all, all these notes here, but it's really uh, giving me things, uh, notes that just has things, 50 things. I want 50 cool things. So if I put quotes around it, then it's searching for a phrase, cool things, and it gives me more specific results. And then I can go and have a look at that and say, well, there's seven cool things to do with your iPad. So it picks up all the notes. I can search for uh, things that were in the title by using a keyword. So in title, and I'm looking for all notes that I'll uh, have proofreading in the title. 
and that will bring up all those notes and you can see there there's proofreading in the title and that brings all those up so if you're looking for something um, particularly specifically within a title then you can use that as a search term once I've created a search I can save that search these are notes that are all uh, to do with a, a course I'm doing so I want to be able to find them quickly so I have the, uh, the search term up here I have the results so I know that that search term is working so now I can save it so I don't have to type it in, in again so if you go up to file new saved search and we'll call this one proof reading notes okay and then it saves it down let's move this up here saves it down under under um, save searches so I can close it up if I want it to as I normally close up these two save search proofreading notes so if I delete that search term and then come back and hit that search it brings up all the notes so you can save your searches and you can have as many complex searches as you like uh, let's go back to all notes all notes all notes uh, another search would be by wildcard so I could search for something with an asterisk and bars and I'm looking for recipes for granola bars so that's searched for anything that ends in bars anything uh, before the word bars it will pick it up so it's got granola bars it's got chocolate granola bars so wildcard searching boolean searches as you would do for, for Google for example also work in Evernote and then I could save that as a, as a search as, as well I can search for specific notebooks and notes within and or tags within notebooks so if I'm looking for uh, a recipe for juice in the notebook juice and raw then I would enter this search they put the notebook and the name of the notebook so it's juice and raw and there it's brought up the actual notebook but it's brought up every single note in that notebook I just want the ones that have tags of juice so I can continue it with tag and juice and that's the uh, only note that has those criteria so it's in the juice and raw notebook it has the tag of juice and then again if I wanted to I could go and do a, a saved search and, and uh, find that again as well as searching for notebooks you can search for tags so I might search for the tag uh, fishing if we're looking for things on cyber security so it brings up all of the different notes that have fishing as the tag so you can search notebooks you can search tags wildcards and perhaps there's a, a search for all notes that don't have any tags and I think that would be a useful one to also save so for a note that does not have a tag this is the criteria minus tag and colon asterisk and they don't have any tags these notes and if you look through them you can see that that's true they're in um, notebooks but they don't have any tags in them and so here's a way that I could go back and just clean everything up so there's another save search file save search no tags and okay so now I've got two saved searches you can also scan uh, information into Evernote so using a, a scanner like a scan snap sna uh, scanner from Fujitsu you can scan information and have that text uh, OCR so that it's uh, editable and searchable so that when you're searching for a specific uh, phrase or keyword in that scanned note it will come up so I have scanned a whole lot of uh, information from 
uh, handwritten notes that I've done for the course I'm doing on proofreading. Uh, handwrite the notes, scan the notes with the scan snap, snap, scan snap scanner. It's a mouthful. So I'm going to look for that now. I'm in all notebooks and I'm going to look for the phrase small capitals. And with quotes, so it looks for that exact phrase and it's brought up the two notes there. And there's a bit hard to see that one, but we'll look at this one small capitals comes up there so that actual text can be picked up through OCR and you can search for scanned notes as well to find what you want and the more notes you scan the more you have the, the better this will be. Um, there is also some quite sophisticated searching that you can do in Evernote and what I have is a notebook for searching in Evernote which has a couple of notes that I've clipped from the web and this one for example is uh, Evernote searching and it, and it gives you all, all lots of different wildcards and different ways of searching by tag, by title, to search by the date and time that the note was created or search for all notes that were created yesterday is a good one or all notes that were created today or a year ago, or a month ago. And this one I will put into one of my shared notebooks. There's another one here, using Evernote Advanced Search Operators. There's sort of so many that, that you know I can't put in this little video, but having a look at a couple of documents might give you some ideas. This one was also clipped off the, the uh, internet. It comes from the Evernote support site. So there are two notes here and what I've done with them is put them into one of my shared notebooks called uh, Random, somewhere in here, my public folders in Random and I've put them in there along with my other note, 100 uses for Evernote. And to access that, uh, I have a shared notebook that I've set up and it has a public link. So the Random Notebook modify the sharing, there's the link and I will put this link in the description of this video so that if you go to that notebook you don't have to have an Evernote account, you can view the notebook, those three notes are there and then if you wanted to download that uh, and that's just a PDF, you can just download that file, either open it or download it and this one again copy it, print it, save it and that way you can have a little bit more uh, research yourself into the different types of search and operators that you can use.